The purpose of this tutorial is to understand the function generator display. To turn on the function generator, set the amplitude to 3 volts RMS. Now connect the function generator to the digital multimeter. The digital multimeter reads 6 volts RMS. Which one is the correct value? 3 volts, like the display, or 6 volts, like the DMM reads? To understand this, let's, let's go ahead and connect uh, the scope also. So we'll connect the scope in parallel with the function generator and the DMM. And when you do this, you, you measure the RMS value of the waveform. We see that the RMS value of the waveform as measured by the scope agrees with the DMM, which is 6 volts RMS. To understand why the display is 3 volts, but the signal is actually 6 volts RMS, we have to understand in more detail how the function generator works. A good model of the function generator is a Thevenin equivalent circuit, which consists of an ideal voltage source in series with a resistance. This Thevenin resistance represents the internal resistance of the function generator. The function generator is designed to have an internal resistance to limit inadvertent overloads and protect the equipment. For our system, the function generator's internal resistance is 50 ohms, which is an industry standard value. Since the function generator is not an ideal source, the output will depend on the load that is connected to the output. Let's look at a couple of cases. In this first case, let's assume the output is an open circuit. Since there's no current going into that circuit, the output voltage, VFG, would just be equal to the Thevenin voltage, VTH. Now in this next case, let's assume that the load is matching the internal resistance. In other words, if the internal resistance is 50 ohms, the output load would be 50 ohms. In this case, the, the output voltage, VFG, would be a fraction of the 7 in voltage. We can use voltage divider to compute that the output voltage would be exactly one half the 7 in equivalent voltage. Now let's look at another case. Let's suppose that the output load is 50 kilo ohms, which is much larger than the internal resistance of 50 ohms. Again, we can use voltage divider to determine the value of the output voltage in this case. And since 50 kilo ohms is so much bigger than the internal resistance of 50 ohms, that means that the output voltage is approximately equal to the 7. In electronics, we typically build circuits with high values of impedance, so we are working in a high Z mode. The conflict occurs because the function generator manufacturer assumes we'll be working with 50 ohm loads. So the default mode of the function generator is to display the output voltage if a 50 ohm load is connected. In the default mode, the actual output is volt V function generator is 6 volts RMS, but since the display assumes that this value will be half, it, the function generator will display 3 volts RMS. To avoid confusion, we can set the function generator from its default mode to the high Z mode using the menu functions. Access the menu functions by pushing Shift Enter. Page through to find the system menu by pushing right arrow three times. Select output termination by pushing down arrow two times and change from 50 ohms to high Z by pushing the right arrow one time. Select the mode and press enter. Now in the high Z mode the function generator displays 6 volts, the DMM measures 6 volts, and the scope measures 6 volts.